tail end of Hurricane Katya arrived with plenty of sting in it. A number of people were injured when a film set marquee collapsed in high winds on the north coast. Elsewhere, trees and power lines have come down and there have been difficult conditions for cars, ferries and planes. Julie McCulloch is in Portrush. Julie, tell us first about the film set marquee. Well, Noel, I'm here in a very windy port rush, not far from where this marquee collapsed in Ballantoy at around one o'clock today. Now, I've been speaking to a couple of people who were actually inside it at the time. Now, they told me there were up to maybe 250 members of the crew and extras who were inside it. I I've been told that filming had already been called off for the day at this stage, presumably because of this terrible weather. Marquee having their lunch. And one person told me that the marquee literally collapsed in one second. And this person said they thought they were going to die. They said people were hiding under tables until people came to rescue them. Now we do know that one woman was taken to hospital with back injuries and that others were treated at the scene, but scene, but thankfully no one was seriously injured. But you can see from the footage that I took just earlier today, how much damage had been done to this marquee and all those things floating in the air, I'm told, are costumes that are now lost to the set of Game of Thrones. OK, Julie, what uh, has been the worst of the weather around Northern Ireland? Well, you can get a fair idea of where the worst of the weather is here because here on the north coast, here in Portrush Harbour, it's being absolutely battered. And earlier today, at 11 o'clock uh, this morning in uh, uh, Castle Derg in County Tyrone, a gust of 74 miles per hour was recorded. Now in Londonderry City itself, one of the parks there, St Columns, was closed to the public because of fallen trees. And the foil bridge, which always has problems when these high winds come, it was closed to high-sided vehicles and other vehicles had to drive at 40 miles per hour. So no doubt the worst of the weather definitely in northern and western parts of Northern Ireland. And further down? Well, I would say that the worst of the disruption for everybody else has definitely been travel plans. The fast ferries have been cancelled all day, and that includes the ferries to and from Rathlin. Now, on the roads, the big problem will have been the trees falling. You should be able to see some pictures of some trees that fell, a tree that fell in East Belfast earlier today. Now, the airports, they have been operating pretty much as normal, but we took some footage earlier of a plane landing at Belfast City Airport, and you can see that it must have been a pretty bumpy ride for those. But here in Portrush, the fishermen are a bit worried about high tide coming in later this evening, and this water behind me rising even more. All right, Julie, battling well against the, the weather there, the microphone. Apologies for the quality of the sound, but you can understand just how difficult things are there.